Hi, I'm Mike. Everything on the ranch has a value set to it. Our tractors, our buildings, yeah, even me, to an extent. Today, we look at the most valuable asset of the ranch, the cows, and the dollars and cents attached to them, and what they mean to the ranch on our Wyoming Life. <laughs> Welcome back. Thanks for coming along once again as we continue to explore the ranch life and escape the ordinary. Over the next month or so, we're going to be digging into the financials of the ranch. We're going to look at how the ranch makes money, probably more importantly, how the ranch spends money from calving to haying to winter feeding and culminating in a brand new cost of ranching video due out in November. This year, we're calling it the cost of ranching in 2020. How's that of our original? In that video, we'll put it all together, but for now, we're gonna be breaking down some of the most important parts of the ranch, and we hope that you can join the ride. Please subscribe, hit the bell button for notifications and new videos due out Tuesdays and Friday afternoon. I wasn't born here on the ranch. Uh, my wife and I aren't third, fifth, or, or sixth generation, pretty much anything. Uh, we landed here on the ranch pretty much due to pure luck, and neither of us would have it any other way at this point. We've had to learn as we go, uh, make mistakes, make the best of them, and sometimes those mistakes, they cost the ranch thousands of dollars. In fact, if we go back to our years before YouTube, or BYT as I like to call it, I can remember the calving season, I think it was 2011. I was pretty fresh to the whole job, and I'd have just enough experience to be dangerous. I'd been through three calving seasons by that time, and with Aaron's help, we had, well, we had pretty successful seasons. In 2011, however, Aaron and I had just had our first daughter, Mackenzie. Aaron was tied up with the whole mom thing, and I was left to calving mostly on my own. Calving started out pretty tame, but by the second week in April, we got clobbered by some pretty big storms. The snow didn't want to stop, and, well, honestly, that didn't stop the cows from having calves. I spent hours at a time, all day long, trying to keep calves alive uh, that were born in a two-week stretch of long, wet, and cold snowstorms. It was during that two weeks that I started thinking about it for the very first time, what the cows were worth, or even what a calf was worth. By the time a calf had grown big enough to wean, it would weigh about 550 pounds. The market back then was about $1.10 per pound, so a calf born that year would average, what, $600 of income for the ranch. At that same time that I was running all these numbers in my head, the storm kept coming and I was completely overwhelmed. All told, by the end of those storms, we'd lost almost 20 calves. That was on me. Some I know I couldn't have helped. Moms were dropping calves in snowbanks, and even calves born in the open were covered in drifts just minutes after being born, but you still felt like you always could have done more. No matter what the reason, that year, we not only lost lives, but we also lost almost $12,000 for the ranch. It's actually the first time I ever told that story. And it still haunts me because each and every year, cows and calves have become more and more valuable to the ranch, not only because of the increases in cattle markets. In fact, the whole price of calves did rise, I think from an average of $1.10 uh, per pound in 2011 to $1.57 in 2015, and over $2 in some areas in 2016. In fact, well, and cattle prices in 2020, they're actually expected to fall due to COVID and feedlots uncertainty about when processors will be able to get those animals through the slaughtering process, but all in all, for that, what it means for us is that uh, we'll be weaning our calves again this year, feeding them here at the ranch until we can see an upswing in prices, much like we had to do last year. But that's where the difference uh, between a cow and her calf lie in terms of how much they're worth to the ranch. A calf, the longer it stays here, it becomes more and more valuable. They eat, they consume other commodities of the ranch while they're here. They're not gonna give anything back to the ranch until the day they're sold. So each day they stay, they cost the ranch money, which then adds to their value, at least on our end. Our hope is that by the time they leave the ranch, they're worth more than they cost. We have the same hope for their moms. However, it kind of works in a little bit of a reverse type way. A cow, a cow is expected to give you a calf every year. That calf is part of her value. A cow that's expected to have five more calves on the ranch, is more valuable than one that might only have three good calving years ahead of her. But both the mom and her calf are essential parts of making the ranch work. For now though, 
let's look at what a calf is really worth. A calf sold today might be worth about 700 bucks at a livestock auction, and that calf will continue its life after auction at a feedlot for about 200 days where it'll be fed a ration designed to make it gain weight. It'll put on between 400 to 600 pounds before it's taken to slaughter. The feedlot will make money then, the slaughterhouse, and the packaging facility will make money as well. It'll be sold to distributors who will also make money, and then to grocery stores who will make a little bit more money when you come to buy that beef. So that calf, now grown and in your grocery store, is obviously worth more than we originally figured, or what a rancher was paid for it. But how much more? And does it balance out? Is the rancher or the farmer getting their fair share? In order to figure that out, we have to know what that calf produced in beef. A few years ago, we started our own beef on the ranch. Uh, well, we started and finished our own beef on the ranch. Only a few per year, but it took, it took the place of the feedlot for those animals. We had them processed and packaged, and then we also took the place of distributor and grocery store as we were able to sell the beef right off the ranch. Because of that, we know exactly how much product we can get from each grown calf, and we know how much it's worth. Now we can share that with you. Each calf, raised and finished on the ranch, gives us this. 500 pounds of meat, ground beef, rump roast, chuck roast, sirloin, stew meat, steaks including ribeyes, New York strip, T-bones, sirloin steaks, tenderloins and skirt steaks, briskets, and short ribs. The weights of each of those cuts, well, they differ, but they average this. With these averages, we can figure how much a cow is worth right after a quick trip to the grocery store. You see, prices differ. In fact, they're all over the place. That's actually a sales tactic. Some pay a little less for hamburger, maybe a little more for steaks, but in the end, remember, no stores in the business of losing money. What we can do is take some prices from choice or select cuts of beef. In a future video, we're gonna look at the eight beef quality grades. Yeah, there's, there's eight of them. Prime, choice, select, standard, commercial, cutter, and canner. In fact, the last four or so, you probably don't even wanna know where they come from. But for today, we're gonna to just look at the better cuts. Okay, so here we go. Of that 500 pounds of beef from that cow, hamburger is 286 pounds, and average maybe 450 a pound, that's $1,430 in hamburger alone from that cow. Your roast, 550 a pound, 85 pounds per cow, 470 bucks. 17 pounds of stew meat at seven, town, at seven bucks a pound, $120. Steaks, a little hard to figure, they're kind of all over the place, but they averaged a uh, price between $10 per pound for sirloin steaks all the way up to $25 a pound for tenderloins. So that gives us a total of $860 in steaks. What's left? Brisket, brisket, 11 pounds, uh, $13, that's $143. And short ribs, six pounds of short ribs worth, well, no, 11 pounds of short ribs worth six bucks a pound. Uh, you have $66 in short ribs. All that together, over $3,000 in meat. It doesn't include soup bones, livers, other organs, the hide, fat, uh, a ton of other products that uh, we get from cattle and we use in our daily lives. In fact, it's another video idea right there. But the estimates put the average value of a grown calf at about $4,000, if not more. Of that $4,000, the producer made $700 of it. Oddly enough, it's the producer, like us, and the feedlots that take all the risk. We're the ones that raise and spend months with the cows. We're there when they're born, we nurse them back to health when they're sick. Processors, distributors, even grocery stores spend only days with that calf and her product. The producers spend countless hours making sure that it gets that far. That's why we started keeping calves on the ranch finishing them here ourselves. For us, finishing our own cattle, the cost to finish, about $400 per steer. Processing for us is about $800, including disposal, brand inspection, USDA inspection, and packaging. You see, all told, we have a choice. What's that cow worth? At auction, 
$700. Those calves that I lost in 2011 cost the ranch $12,000. Or did they cost the ranch $60,000? The end worth of those calves in the grocery store. It's not all about the money. The pride that I feel knowing that our family took part in feeding yours is astounding. It's something that's very hard to convey, but it's something I think about every single day. We talk a lot about supporting your uh, local farmer and rancher and buying directly from them, which then helps keep money in their hands or on their ranch and helps ensure success for those farms and ranches to extend well into the future. We've actually taken it to a whole nother level and now we offer beef jerky as well, a way for anybody to take home a piece of the ranch. Hey, doing something here. I love my family. I love the ranch and I love my job. They, they're all something that I can't put a price tag on. The cows, while you can say that each calf born here is worth thousands of dollars by the end product, they're worth the world. They're worth my time, my blood, sometimes my sweat and tears. They're what keep us going every single day. And they, they have no idea. Thanks guys. Subscribe now and learn more in upcoming videos about grating beef, why that hot dog, while it tastes good, may not be the best thing for you. Also, we'll be looking at what cows do for us beyond the dinner plate and much, much more, including our regular Tuesday project list videos where we tackle a project on the ranch and it's only gonna get better. I thank you very much for coming along, experience your ranch life, escape your ordinary, and we'll see you next time right here on our Wyoming Life.